everyone and um, welcome to this video where I'm going to be going through um, some SolidWorks library feature parts. So these are kind of, you might know them as smart components, things which you can bring into your model and regardless of what you already have, they will expand, contract, uh, alter themselves um, to fit into your model which you have there. So say you're a company designing shelves like what we have here, you might want rails or fixtures that are in your shelves that you generally apply to a wide range of shelves. And um, you want to save yourself time by just being able to drag those in from a library which you have. And uh, you want them to then fit to whichever size shelf you have. Okay, so I'm just going to give you some basic examples. And we're just going to look through some ones which I've made um, for some companies when I used to work at Solid Solutions. So the first one we're going to look at is this wardrobe hanging rail. Um, I am actually going to need the planes visible to do this because um, these library feature parts rely on having references there which they can use to rebuild themselves from. Okay. Um, if you are using these, you would generally know what kind of references are expected to make this. Okay, But they're not easy to make. They are quite tricky. Um, I, I recommend definitely going on YouTube, having a route around or perhaps going on a training course uh, to see how they're made. So let's just drag this one in from the, from the right hand side from our design library. You can see that it's starting to look okay when you have on that face. So you can expect that's probably where it's going to be rebuilt from. So I'll drag it in there. Now the first reference it wants is a point. So I've already got that on my model here. As I said, if you're working for a company using these, you would know what's expected. So you've pre-planned uh, having that point in there. So I'll click that. Next is the other face you can see uh, on this little window, which comes up which is actually very useful that it wants the other side so I'll just click there and now I want a mid plane as well because um, a lot of this model relies on having symmetry you see there's a little fixture at the end there another one mirrored on that side as well so I'll just click the mid plane in this case and you can see that rebuilds perfectly although when I click that green tick it's going to change into oak because it's all part of this one part it's not an assembly so it's just expecting that it's all going to have the same appearance. But that's something you can very easily just go in and change. And then your end result might end up looking something like that. So the next one we're going to take a look at is a double shelving strip, which took me a lot longer to make and was a lot more complex. But um, this one is really quite a good component to use, actually. So let's just drag it in. So you'll see it'll want that reference. Now what it wants first is the top edge. So I'll click that. You see, if you click here, you run the risk of accidentally clicking the edge from that top panel there. So you click there, go to the bottom, it wants that edge. And then it also wants the mid plane. And you can see, give it a second, that will just rebuild itself perfectly. Okay. And you've also got a locating dimension on there, which is 50 millimeters as it stands. Um, which is something you would make when you actually start making the library feature part. So I'm going to make that uh, 35 in this case. And you can see those, they'll move in, which is nice. Now, um, you would also want that on the other side. So what I'm going to do is just drag in another one. Uh, it's funny this one because you have to do it uh, the other way around if you want it like that because of the way the planes are set up. Um, there is perhaps a way to get over that, but this took me so long originally that I found this is probably the easiest solution to it. So let's just drag in another one. Click the top. Click the bottom. Click the mid plane. And you've got another one rebuilt just like that. So it is really, really easy. You know, you can imagine how long it would take you if you were going to try and make you know a whole nother one of those every single time you made a new model it would take forever okay and the nice thing about this is that it will scale up and down if you were to change this wardrobe if it was a meter taller um, thinner it would still work okay and that location that locating dimension is going to come in at 50 automatically okay and say we did change that to 35 okay now they're equal but say for example you want that one to be 20 okay you want the one side to be 20. You want the other one to change automatically. Okay, we can also do that. And I'll show you how to now. Okay, let's just take off the planes to view it easier. And what we're going to do is double click this. Let's find our 30 or 35, I think it was. 
there it is bring it out into a place which is nice and easy to see it I'm going to hold control and I'm going to double click the other side as well let's find our 35 on that side there it is and now I'm going to double click this 35 and just hit equals and then click that dimension oh, beg your pardon just get it back click that dimension hit the green tick and hit control Q now if you look at this one that's 35 that one's got the equation driven symbol on it okay so let's just give that a quick test let's change the first one make its locating dimension instead how about back to 50 press the green tick and I'm just going to hit control Q as well to make sure it has rebuilt or in fact it doesn't even need to be done then you can see they're both equal and they've both rebuilt perfectly that's all for today I hope that's been interesting and I hope you've gained something from that please just drop me a message if you have any questions about these models or making smart components um, library feature parts I would really suggest using this for your company for your models um, and definitely sit on a training course if you have to because um, really really worth it